Kick has uh, now signed XQC and Amaranth, uh, which were previously Twitch's top male and female streamers, respectively, within 48 hours. Um, I mean, just, it's, it's got to be it's got to be all hands on deck at Twitch in terms of just like figuring out what the heck you're supposed to do, because uh, Kick has announced that they have literally uh, poached XQC um, for a reported 100 million dollars. What a just a massive, massive wow. deal. First of two, all, you have two you have, years. Yeah. Two years. Hundred. I don't get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you. Like before we even get into the rest of this, like that number does not make sense to me. And what, what's crazy to me is what's crazy. Non exclusive. Yeah. Non exclusive. Non It's insane. Well, non exclusive. That, that doesn't blow my mind as much as the yeah. number value. But even then, Twitch uh, responded to this. Seemingly, they responded to it. They don't. They, they wouldn't admit this by adding a policy that you can't cross stream now when you're on Twitch. When you're on Twitch, you can only stream on Twitch. Um, so they're just that's getting just more and more. That's just another nail in their coffin. It really yeah. is. It's going I mean, to be for 100%. I mean, that's that's an issue that we've seen from, you know, uh, a lot of uh, creators speak out against, uh, especially Ninja. Ninja's already mm. talking about how that's, that's an issue, right? In order to grow your brand, you need to be on multiple platforms. And uh, that's part of the non-exclusive additive towards that contract, right? Has nothing to do with him not being exclusive and everything to do with a, a kind of slap in the face to to Twitch, if you will, that basically says, see, we're playing, we're we're really for the creators while, by allowing them to stream wherever they want to. It, it's hard to, ma to make yourself out to be a platform for creators to do what they want on it and then say, you know, but you have to. You have to play by our rules, and our rules say you can only stream on our platform. That's ridiculous, yeah. right, Brad? I mean, you know, it's just kind of a um, uh, incumbent mentality, right? When you've been the you've been the, the 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 big game in town for so long, you feel like you can kind of flex your muscles and uh, apply your domain, and. It's not the reality anymore. I no. mean, to lose no. your biggest male and female streamers within a two-day span and then kind of double down on this, you can't um, cross-stream between platforms. You're just encouraging more people to go be enticed by the um, revenue split that you can get over at Kick. that's better than, than Twitch's, oh, yeah, right? right? So it's way better. Way I mean, better. For those so of you who don't know, exclusive? it's a ninety-five five split over at Kick and something like fifty fifty, 50, 50. Seven, seven, 70, 30 for certain very certain certain. streamers. So, very yeah. so streamers why on there. would I, if I have a logical hat on, stay exclusive to a fifty fifty deal? When I can go get yeah. ninety five five and be non exclusive and still yep. stream other places, like exactly yeah. that's the thing, and grow your brand, right? Like we're exactly. it's not just about it's not just about um, it's not just about getting that revenue split. It's the of course it's the ability I to grow your brand on multiple platforms, and every other mm -hmm. platform has that ability to to stream in multiple places. And yeah. Twitch has, I think. I think they're overplaying their hand in that respect. In that respect, don't you, Nick? This is what Twitch does. Whenever they they always overreact, they cannot control the narrative right now. Like, I'm so disappointed in Twitch because you know, it, it it looked for the longest time like Twitch was going to be the um un unironically the Amazon of streaming. You know that they're able yeah. to innovate and keep with the times. Of course, uh, Twitch was acquired by Amazon, um, and yet it seems like they just can't find a way. To to monetize the platform without squeezing the little guy, mm. um, you know, you look at you look at what what's happened with Twitch with discoverability, right? Where there is there is a a it's everybody's streaming. Yeah, yeah, it used to be where like you know, fifteen years ago, that the the concept of streaming was so uh, novel that so few people had the the, the ability or the technical yeah. know how to do it. Now, same streaming goes is with just making videos. Nature. Yeah. Same same goes um, with making videos. This this, this right. translates both ways, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know exactly what you're talking about. We're talking about the idea that that 
only few, a few people who had the technological savvy to to you know rig up their computers with ca- you know capture cards and whatnot knew how to capture games. I was one of them. Started over, started out in 2007 doing this kind of stuff, right? A mm-hmm. long, long time ago. And um, you know, I've seen the landscape change and how easy it is for people to post online, and that's why everyone wants to be you know, one of these big streamers and, you know, wants to get into the, the YouTube game and, and, and be a content creator because they see how easy it is. And, you know, news class, it's not easy. It's not easy. And <laughs> it's not easy at all. And there's a lot of work behind the scenes. We're seeing, you know, I, I sent uh, I sent these guys a, a clip um, from, uh, from Penguin Zio and... Um, he basically was talking about how Tfue's taking a break from you know YouTube yeah. right now, and 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 a lot of other YouTubers who have been a, been around for the, a long time are taking these breaks too. And you know when it comes to something like Twitch, uh, XQC and and Amaranth have had nothing but uh, you know tumultuous relationship with Twitch being oh, banned yeah. several yeah. times mm-hmm. on the platform. So again, out of all, you know, Twitch needs them more than they need Twitch. They have the audience yeah. to 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 really step away from the platform, I think. I mean so, uh, Go ahead, Brad. Go ahead, Nick. No, go ahead. I'll, I'll throw it over to you. I was going to ask you, Brad. You know, I, I look at on Twitch, or at least what when, when I used to re- recall logging into Twitch, which I rarely do anymore, uh, always seeing XQC and Amaranth oh, yeah. on the front page, right? They wanted these these streamers to be uh, front and center, right? And, yep. uh, you know, they, 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 they never quite figured out the right way to do it. Like, I'm thinking about Amaranth in particular, okay? I don't think anybody that is familiar with the streaming space would disagree with the fact that Amaranth Draw is not playing games. No, um, and she, for the longest time, uh, was part of what was considered the literal hot tub meta, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, what has happened is she, kick is she. I would say she she pioneered yeah. that entire meta. I think yeah. she uh, uh, of of. I think it's fair to say that and, mm-hmm. and give her credit for that. To say that she essentially created an entire section on Twitch and and now Kick right Kick right. has it front and center as well like hot tub streams you know so right but the <laughs> difference is that Kick has an actual category for the type of content that she creates whereas yeah. Twitch it was always this tumultuous uh, uh, oh t- there's there's a seven dollar there. word tumultuous yeah, uh, <laughs> were uh, yeah. um, uh, a situation with them because it was just chatting but it wasn't and they had to you know update their TOS about what you can and can't do and that's fine you know obviously she that her whole thing is pushing the envelope of what 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 is allowed and challenging it um, but I I'm just I'm I'm not surprised by these moves at all and I really wouldn't be surprised if we continue to see big names because literally what what Amaranth says in this article Brad is that she saw that XQC signed for $100 million. She told her agent, hey, go talk to them. And they had that deal inked within 24 hours, okay? So I, oh, yeah. I promise you that every other big streamer right now is <laughs> seeing this. probably a carbon copy. <laughs> and in the next week, they're going to be going over. I just don't understand where is this money coming from in a 95-5 so- split environment? How does somebody spend $100 million on a streamer? How can they stay solvent, Brad? So, so you, it, it, it's you, great segue, Nick. I mean, you just you, you know where we're going with this. So, <laughs> first of all, it's rare that we cover articles that are posted by Forbes. So, just to talk about the legitimacy and like seriousness of this reality, it's it's being talked about on Forbes. So, like, it's no just you know, this is this is top tier you know news hitting if, if, for an, an economic standpoint. These are these, these are like sports contracts, right? Like, I mean, these are these are insane numbers. Um, this is where I think Twitch's play is. This is the this is the silver lining for Twitch. They are waiting for you know Kick to basically cash flow themselves out of of, of operation, right? You got to wonder, you know, can they sustain? How many more big contracts for big streamers can they sustain, and for how long? Yeah. Right. You know, if you look at, I think there's a quote here from from the fa- co-founder of 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 Kick, and um, he actually, you know, Ed Craven, he said that it's going to be operating at a loss. 
Okay, how <laughs> long can you be operating at a loss before <laughs> it, it, it's going to crumble, right? So yeah. you got to wonder if this is a different play. Like, is this is, is Kick just a way to deal Twitch a blow? Is there another motive for Kick to maybe shuffle people to a different platform? You know, I've seen things, you know, the guy that created Kick also created the crypto gambling site skatestake.com mm -hmm. yeah. so you have to wonder is there an alternative play here besides just creating are they using a new streaming platform as a front to advertise for something else right um but and they're you know, advertising everywhere brad i mean they're on uh they are partnered with alfa romeo for f1 so you will see stake and kick uh on the side of the car um, and on the uh, halo of the car, they, they usually switch out. I think this past weekend it was steak, and uh, the previous two weekends it was kick. So they are doing a very, very heavy marketing you know, push right now for this. You got to wonder, though, what is the stability mid and long term of that cash flow? Where is that money coming from? Is it sustainable? Can they, can they continue to pay to keep these top-notch streamers in contract to make a huge dent in you know the the, the streaming market and make kick the premier platform yeah. maybe it could be a flash in the pan maybe it sticks around longer i don't know it's going to be interesting to see you're right nick it it's I, 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 you know, I don't think Amaranth's deal was the details of that were fully disclosed. Right. But you have to assume it's going to be close to the same number, and so I just oh, yeah. don't know. You have to also be like, who do they consider top tier streamers? What is that? What is the value of a contract for a streamer? This obviously is setting the bar very high. Do other streamers go in asking for a similar amount? Or are they going to get lowballed? There's a lot of dynamics behind the scenes that we're not going to see, and we'll yeah. fold out over the next couple of weeks, and that'll give you insight to know. What's the long-term viability of Kick? Right, and I mean, my my thing about these streamers is, you know, they they, they at XQC especially not only a history of controversy, but has a devil may care attitude about what and how he streams. You know, there was another news story that came out recently um, where XQC uh, the mods had to come into the chat to like get his attention because he was literally streaming. I think it was like the Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> Um, on on the stream, and that's all he was doing was literally just showing a movie, you know, um, to all these people after just signing a one hundred million dollar contract. They're like, hey, you can't do that. And for a while there, Kick was like the Wild West, where like you could go and you could you could stream almost anything, and they just no one cared. Um, so it was like, oh, you know, no rules, no inhibitions. Um, and uh, you know, between that and spending a hundred million dollars, I think you're right, Brad. Like, it, it almost seems like they're going like the Michael Scott paper company route of like, can we can we cause enough chaos in the space to like, you know, actually do something, whether we intended to or not? And even with these, you know, the, with the with the crypto bro money, I don't understand how you <laughs> if if you sign four or five streamers at that level, you're talking about half a billion dollars in, in spends. That is already committed for, and like, like, like you said, ninety-five-five revenue split, which no one else is doing because they need to. You got to, you got to make money at the end of the day. People don't realize there's a cost of you streaming on someone's platform, and it's yeah. not you. On, on on all these platforms, there's no cost to you to stream um, and have all yeah. this data circulating around, right, Bruno? Well, it, it, yeah, but we're you know it's interesting that you know we're we're talking about you know a cryptocurrency parent company right you know of uh, that uses servers right that's how uh, cryptocurrencies mine through servers servers are exactly how we stream to certain things so the I think the the two go hand in hand and I think that. This is a, I don't know, who knows? Maybe it's new technology that we don't even know about, you know, helping maybe streamers or helping, you know, mine cryptocurrency through Kick. Who knows? I don't know. You know, no. I don't even know if that's really possible or, you know, who's running the hamster wheel <laughs> behind there. But, you know, you're right. This is a large amount of money. And I think that, 
you know, anybody, any streamer who has, you know, looked at Kick and looked at Mixer and stuff, you know, might be saying, I'm not going to be moving over or whatnot, but this is different than Mixer, right? We're seeing yeah. a lot more marketing push and a lot more um, noise in the space. I think Mixer relied heavily on uh, Ninja to bring everyone over to Mixer, and that didn't necessarily work. They weren't able to gather as many big name streamers as they intended, and um, it it you know I, I think it just I think this open clause kind of you know stream where you want is exactly what what these big big streamers want. They want to grow their audience and. Uh, yeah. I think more and more people are going to switch over to Kick, and um, yeah, it's. It, yeah. I think we're going to see so, more from it. So, who's the next big piece to follow the puzzle? Right? Who's going to be the next one we hear about? It's who be you, one of what's it's... your prediction? We can't. We can't disclose things that are currently under discussion and con and right, you know, the contracts under no. under review nick okay come on I, I, i'll do it for I, a lot less <laughs> <laughs> quit the bill